the indigenous people of Biafra has said that the leader of the Fulani bandits that was napped in Benue State, Muhammad Isa, has been killed. The media and publicity secretary of the group, Ima Powerful, told Sahara reporters on Thursday that the IPOP does not spare terrorists. Isa, who allegedly terrorized Igbo residents in Benue communities, was apprehended by the Eastern Security Network last weekend, as revealed by the group's leader, Namde Kano. I want to commend men and women of the Northern Command of the Eastern Security Network for the successful capture of Muhammad Isa, the notorious leader of Fulani bandits and killers in Lower Benue. Kano said on Monday. Reacting, the chairman of the local government area in Benue State, James Oche, said some people had been arrested in connection with the murder of an elderly man, Muhammad Isa. Imam Powerful, while speaking about the issue as to what would be the fate of the arrested criminal, said, we have made it open before now that we don't spare terrorists. Muhammad Isa was captured by the Eastern Security Network, Northern Command, and handed over to God. We handed him over to God to meet his ancestors. It is our resolve that any Fulani terrorists masquerading as headsmen in our land, if we catch you, we send you to God, Chukopike Abiyama, to judge you. The Eastern Security Network has no power to judge terrorists. Only God has the power to do so. Therefore, advising them to leave our lands and our forests and our farm lands. In his comments on the preparation of IPOP to build a social media application for their members in replacement of Facebook, Imam Powerful said, when we are true, we will launch it, he concluded. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? As it were, you recall that there have been reports of different um, activities of the Fulani bandits across the various um, communities where Igbos are predominantly uh, residing in Benue State. And um, such activities you know, prompted Namdekano to deploy the men of the Eastern Security Network to the state, and, uh, which led to the capture of Mohammed Isa. And now from the report that is filing in, it has been said that um, the Fulani bandit leader has been killed by the Eastern Security Network. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Saying that they are not in a position to judge, but when they capture a terrorist, they send such terrorists to God for judgment. Well, it is what it is, guys. Do you think that is the right thing to have done? Or they probably would have handed such person over to the security forces and agents? But you know that the Eastern Security Network would not be able to send a uh, handover such people to the security agents because of the issues on ground but however it is what it is we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold let's take a few reaction and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story igwe ezemuro korobia says i overheard mazin nambekanu saying that ipop don't have any right to judge anyone so they quickly send him to god for judgment as action speaks louder than voice. Chibuike Mwago says, Well done, guys. The thing I like about my people is, when war befalls us, we don't pretend it's not there. We confront it head on. We are not the kind of people you would poke our eyes without consequences. Okay, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular, this particular issue? Do you think that it is the right thing to have been done? Well, lots of people are 
in support of this particular action as they, cite, as, as they say that it is the right thing to have been done as um, it is wrong to negotiate with terrorists uh, it is also wrong to keep terrorists but be that as it were what do you think what will the government do about this to a very large extent this particular issue could lead to some challenges as the case may be probably the northerners planning on a revenge mission or a prison attack saying that the Igbos have killed one of them. This might probably be what the issue may end up resulting into. But however, it doesn't matter anymore the deed has been done as the government has failed to protect the people. It is now the people who are seeking for ways to protect themselves from killer bandits from Fulani bandits and headsmen, as the case may be. Having captured there the leader of the bandits, the indigenous people of Biafra and the Eastern Security Network have decided to send the Fulani bandit leader to God for judgment, meaning that they have killed him and that is what it is. Well, it is what it is. What do you think? Do you think this is the right call? And also they have come out to state it that this is what they have done. But personally, I think the federal government might take record of this and uh, find a way to use it against the E group or Nambitano as it were. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Nobody knows what the government will do about this because definitely the government is taking records of all these activities and they are putting it down. And someday they might end up using it against the Eastern Security Network or not the candle or the iPod group as it were. But will that really matter at that particular point in time? Nobody knows, nobody can say, but it is what it is. What do you think, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? iPod has said that Mr. Security Network has come out to say that they have killed the leader of the Fulani Bandit and have sent him to God for judgment. While lots of iPod followers uh, Eastern Security Network followers are happy about it. Some are of the opinion that even if they had done that, they shouldn't have come out in the open to declare it. But rather than keep quiet or take such action uh, silently, they have come out to openly declare that this is what they have done. Well, what are your thoughts, guys, concerning this? Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.